All right, so I've looked all over the internet and it seems like no one has been able to figure this out. So I'm here to show you today that I do have this working on my non-rooted Galaxy S6 Active with a wireless Microsoft Xbox 360 controller, a Microsoft USB receiver for the controller, and a USB OTG on the Go cable. Since I have this working on my S6 Active, I assume this will also work for S6 and S6 Edge users. So let me give you a quick demo on the Mega N64 emulator. The cool thing about this app specifically is that it allows me to control it with analog input. So start up Super Mario here. It's me, Mario. Hello. <laughs> so you can see buttons are working and the analog. Walking slow, walking fast, Yahoo! and running. Yahoo! Walking slow, walking fast. Alright, so let me show you how I did it. So you'll need to download an app called USB BT Joy Center. It took me a while to find a version of this app that didn't crash or uh, keep disconnecting my controller, um, but unfortunately this app is completely disappeared off the Play Store um, and it was very hard for me to find uh, a safe version of it online. So I'll leave a link in the description to the same APK file that I used to install it on my phone. The other thing you'll need is a USB OTG cable. This is a USB to micro USB cable. They're super cheap, I'll leave a link on it for Amazon. It's like two for five bucks. So let's open up the app. And unfortunately it's pretty small, but you can still see everything all right. On the upper right here, we have a help button. Next to that, we have a J to T switch. Unfortunately, this is for rooted phones only. This allows you to map uh, physical buttons on your controller to the physical touch screen. Over here on the left, we have an A switch. This is for analog input and it can only be used with Mega N64 and Muppin 64 and this allows you to use the analog joysticks like I showed you in the demo. Next to it we have uh, the BT button, this is Bluetooth on and off, it just toggles it Bluetooth on and off on your phone. Next to that we have the IME selector. So what this app does is it creates a keyboard um, that you map your buttons to and you need to enable that keyboard so it'll bring you to this screen. You have to enable the USB Joy IME. You just press OK. And then you go back to the app. And that's the only time you'll have to do that. And then you just hit that IME button again and select the USB Joy keyboard. So if you go to type a message to someone, you realize that your keyboard doesn't work correctly. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to start typing and then swipe down from your screen and you'll see select keyboard and then you just select the keyboard that you want to use and it's fixed so when you want to go back into game mode you just re-enable your USB Joy IME and you're good to go so go ahead and connect your receiver to your phone and then press the search button Once you see this message, it's just saying that it recognizes the device. Press OK, and then you can turn on your 360 controller. And there it is right there. And it should recognize it pretty much immediately. As you can see, as I move the stick, it changes buttons and it shows the mappings. And you can change these buttons by clicking on one of the keys, pressing a button on your controller, and then it's automatically mapped. You can also connect a second controller and map it to keys that the first controller isn't using and that way you can play multiplayer games such as Mario Kart. But in order to do that you'll need to go into your emulator settings, your input settings, and allow the share controller options. It allows a single input device such as the USB Joy keyboard to control multiple players at once. After that mapping the rest of the controller is pretty easy. We'll click on controller assignments and you just press a key and it seems to recognize 
everything recognizes all the buttons for start please the start button so yeah that's pretty much it um, one thing to note is that if this analog switch is on other emulators such as the DS emulator or Game Boy emulators won't be able to detect anything mapped to the joystick so to fix that you just turn this off so I'll show you uh, Animal Crossing DS real quick and if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'll do what I can to help. If you get an error, um, you're probably just screwed uh, because the developer has abandoned this project and he is unreachable. So uh, thanks again for watching and uh, good luck.